Good evening, folks, and welcome to tonight's webinar all about an introduction to online payments. My name is Mark. I'll be your host and guide for this evening. You should be able to hear me loud and clear, and you should be able to see my screen, which is a picture of the new pitchhero.com homepage. If you can't see me or hear me, or you can do one or the other, um, there's a questions and chat box on your control panel. Use that. We can hear you. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. It's always good when someone says that. Um, I, trust me, it really is. So you can hear me loud and clear. We're going to crack straight on. So uh, welcome tonight. All about moving payments online. This is going to be a demonstration, a couple of live demos, an introduction, which is going to last 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, throughout any of that, you can do what Chris has just done, which is send me a question or ask me a chat. And I will pause and I'll try and read those and answer those questions as I go along. If I see something a bit more complicated, I'll, uh, I might leave it till the end and try and sum it up at the end. Everything you're seeing tonight, you can do right now. So if you are uh, got your laptop in front of you, you can log on to your picture of control panel and you can use the, uh, just click on payments and you can start signing up and start doing things. I'm doing them in real time. So by all means do that. If you're still having trouble, I'll show you how you can get help and how you can get support. The number one thing about Pitch Hero is you cannot break Pitch Hero. Trust me, we've had plenty of people who have tried. We've been going for 14 years plus. It it it, it works. It, it cannot be broken. So jump in and have a go with full beans. So we'll crack on. Welcome to Moving Payments Online. First of all, sport is back. How wonderful is that? It's been a tough 18 months for everyone. Uh, we had some football and some hockey being played through the summer. We had a wee bit of rugby pre-Christmas, then nothing. But really, it was a barren sporting landscape for a long time. Thankfully, sport is back. All our graphs are pointing up. We're seeing record week after record week on online payments, on match fees, on engagement, on website traffic. It's fantastic to be back in business. Um, over the, the COVID period, we've added a whole new division to our company called Pitch Hero GPS, which I'll talk about in a minute. But what you need to know is that Pitch Hero has been around for well over 10 years now. I think it's 14 years, actually. 5,000 clubs on Pitch Hero alone. We've got more clubs on Teamer. Uh, 70,000 active teams. And we have a big team of staff based in Leeds, right off the M62, 50 yards from the M62. So if you are in beautiful sunny Yorkshire and you're passing our office in Leeds, please do call in. Many clubs do, many club officials, they, they ring up, they send an email to support, they book a time and they count manager or support team. We can, we've got lots of office rooms, can sit down with you and go through any of your troubles. We provide wonderful Yorkshire tea in a teapot with a milk jug and everything. So please do, if you're on that M62 near Leeds, come and see us. Our mission right now for Pitch Hero is to increase your club membership. That means your players, your parents, your uh, uh, supporters, and most of all, it means your volunteers. We want to get more people volunteering, we want to make the job of a volunteer easier, recruiting and retaining volunteers. We also want to increase your club revenue. And that's what tonight's about, most of all. Increasing the revenue coming through your membership fees, your match fees, selling merchandise online, selling tickets online, fundraising online, increasing club revenue and increasing membership at the core of Pitch Hero. New for this season is improving team performance, which I'll speak about in a second. And then finally, reducing club admin. And that takes me on to our next point, which is be volunteer happy. We're launching this campaign next week. It's all about making your volunteers as happy as possible. They've had a tough 18 months. They were doing COVID. They were trying to get their job done. They might have been furloughed. They might have been working in the public sector, homeschooling kids, getting food on the table, paying a mortgage, doing all this hard work just to sort of, you know, get through it. Um, and they also give up their hours of time to volunteer for others. So it's important we look after those volunteers and we make sure that when they come into the club and they're volunteering, they're using great technology and we're trying to make it as simple as possible. So here we'll jump out. I'm going to do this throughout tonight. I'll try and do it nice and slowly so you don't get seasick. But here's the new picture.com homepage. Have a look at it. It's all about what we're doing. I mentioned a few of these already. Um, this went live about a week ago. What you'll see here is the new Pitch Hero GPS. But before that, let me just hit club website on the top there. 
this takes to everything the club website does, all our wonderful features, our endorsements, all the different features and tools, case studies. The case studies are useful because you can visit those club websites and you can see what they're doing. And I'll show you two clubs tonight that use payments really well. And I recommend you go looking at those clubs, seeing how they word things, seeing how they present it on their website. Um, and a good question to ask support is, hey, can you give me five clubs in my sport? Let's see your football or your lacrosse or your hockey. Can you give me five top clubs that are using payments really well? And then go have a look at those five clubs and see how they set up membership, for example. So we've got cases on here. We've got the rankings, which everyone loves. Believe it or not, this is one of our most popular pages. Uh, how popular is your club website, etc. And also, uh, we've got GPS trackers, which is a fantastic new product we're releasing. Um, you get 20 trackers and 20 vests, and we can record everything your player is doing as they run up and down a pitch uh, during games, during training, uh, and, and, and we measure things like how fast they run, their top speed, uh, we produce heat maps, we show you how long they spent jogging, walking, sprinting. It's fantastic data, it's very addictive, the easiest thing I can say about this is if you go for a bike ride, you'll probably have a Garmin uh, computer on your bike that records how far you go on your bike and where you go. And if you go for a run, you probably take your phone with you or your iPhone so you can see how far you ran, how fast you ran. You can probably see the map of how you did it. This is exactly the same in a team environment and we're really proud of it. And this is coming to a lot of teams across the UK very, very soon. I hope in a couple of years, we're seeing thousands of clubs wearing picture Euro GPS to help the development of their players and the overall performance of their team. So check that out. And then finally, more. Hit the more button. The more button is really important because in the more, we have the picture Euro Clubhouse. Here, you'll find information which will help you use Pitch Euro. We've got a whole section called Volunteer Happy. Check out increased revenue, how you can increase your revenue online, improve communication, boost fundraising, recruit new members. It's all here. And we've got a special section all about payments. So here we've got 15 reasons why uh, your club should collect payments online. I'm going to touch on this a bit earlier. It's all listed out here. If you have somebody at your club who is against online payments, send them a link to this page. It'll, it'll convince them. You've also got a PDF. So you can hit that, download it, print it, and take it to a committee meeting. Also on that page, you've got what, what does Pitch here a payment offer my sports club? So this is sort of in a nutshell, all the things that our online payments tools can do. It's a great read, it's super useful, please check it out. That's all in the clubhouse. And then what else have we got in this section? We've got FAQ, so most common questions about payments, how much did it cost, all those things, is it safe? Uh, I'll come on to that. So I'm going to touch on these points earlier, but this is really good reading. And in the clubhouse, you also have book a demo. If you're still unsure, book a demo. We've got loads of staff. They'd love to speak to you. You can organize a phone chat, a video call, screen sharing. You can do it on the evenings and the weekends. We even have them where we have multiple club officials all at their own homes, you know, joining a webinar just like this, and you can talk about it and see it firsthand. So please, if in doubt, book a webinar. Got the webinars, sorry, a demo. We've got the full list of webinars, up and coming webinars happening all the time. There's one tomorrow about video technology in grassroots sports with Pixelot. It's on your email. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Really interesting. You then got the picture of blog updated daily and the good old help center. We spent a lot of time building this help center. The stats are showing us it works really well. So if you have a problem, let's say payment tools, you hit payment tools and you get all the different things about payment, payment providers. Uh, and you can go down and we have, I think it's quite a lot of videos in here, all the information you need to collecting, setting up payments and how it works in different scenarios. So check that out as well. Really good resources for you. So I'll skip a few slides. Clubhouse I've mentioned, Pitch Hero, and then click more and book a demo. That's the direct URL, but if in doubt, pitchhero.com, click more and hit demo. So away we go. Let's talk about moving payments online. We're going to talk about why you should do it, why no is wrong. There's always somebody at the club. I know my guy at my club who will say no to everything. I can see him right now. You probably have someone similar at your club who's, who's suspicious 
and, and refuses to change. I'm going to show you what to say and, and what they normally come at you with. What does Pitchio offer? So we're going to go through that, look at it in detail, and then we're going to have a look at a demo. What I'll show you, one of our demo clubs, how to set up a payment product, the banking situation, and then I'll show you a live club as well and how they do it as well. So, like I say, at any time you want me to slow down if I'm talking too fast now, or you want me to show you more, just hit that question section in your control panel and away we go. So the first one is why online payments? Now on that clubhouse page I showed you, there was 15. I picked my six favorite ones here to talk to you about. The first one is, I'll bet my mortgage that if you switch to online payments, you will increase club revenue. And that's proven time and time again across all of Pitchero clubs. And that's because you can track who has paid and who hasn't paid. So you can add all your members to your club database, you can then assign them a payment product like a membership and then you can email it to them and you can track them with a green light and a red light who has and who hasn't paid. Our stats show a club will increase its membership revenue by 30% because they can see who hasn't paid and they can chase them. Secondly, the people that haven't paid actually prefer paying online. It's less personal. They're not being chased around the changing room or the clubhouse um, and they can, they can do it online 24 7 which i'll come on to so the online payment model i believe will guarantee your club extra revenue imagine that imagine every grassroots club in the country switched to online payments 30 percent more funding into grassroots sport just because they're collecting the membership revenue they're owed really important we hear lots of stories about this we hear stories about how the treasurer is part of the senior club and he doesn't go to the juniors on a Sunday. So he just sends out aggressive emails to coaches saying your players haven't paid. The coaches don't like that, so they don't chase them by October, November. No one's sending any emails any before and they just accept whatever they get from the junior section. But as with most clubs, the junior section is enormous and they're missing out on vital revenue. So just by moving on online, the senior second senior guy can see what the juniors are doing and the juniors don't get those awful emails they can just press buttons and send emails and collect the revenue second one is, is reducing club admin i'm going to show you that exactly how you create a payment product within two three minutes you can select out of your membership database who should pay this so let's say it's all your adult players or your juniors or your junior parents and you can email them. You can just send an email straight to their inbox. And it just says, hi, this is Bob from X Football Club. You're a member, you need to pay your membership fees and away they go. I'll show you how you automate that further down so that once they're set up, it just collects the money every year or every, uh, uh, every month, just like your TV license or your uh, electricity bill. Third one, it's open 24 seven. Anyone at any time can go to your website and make the payment. You know, we have a nightmare where sometimes the clubhouse isn't open um, or the guy uh, or, or lady who's collecting the membership fees isn't there. So if they're not there, then people don't pay and people always have to, you know, go down to the club at a certain time. Or do you remember those awful registration days? I think some clubs still do those where a couple of committee members sit behind a trestle table and then a thousand parents arrive with cash and checks and it's a nightmare to try and register. 500 kids in, in in six hours it's impossible on your website it's open 24 7 they can do it at work they can do it on their phone they can do it whilst watching tv they can do it on the bus on the way to work or on the train on their mobile app they can do it 24 7. fourth it automatically record uh, records membership data the best data is transactional data that's data where somebody's made a payment because you tend to be really honest with that data you know, you can't sort of, you know, you just have to sign up to things with dodgy uh, email addresses or you don't give them your full details. You can't do that when you're making a payment. You have to give them the full details, right? So if they're paying their membership, you're getting really good data at the same time. Fantastic. Number fifth one, you can create recurring payments with Pitchero. So let's say you set up membership fees to be direct debit. And I'm encouraging all clubs to do this. I'm not going to talk about this tonight but your club should be moving towards a Netflix model where it's just 20 pounds a month forever. It's not September to May or anything like that. It's just 20 pounds forever. And whenever you join, you just pay the 20 pounds and it's forever and ever and ever. But 
once you set it up, it just collects and it collects and it collects. You can also set up an annual payment that collects and collects. So the first day of September every year, it takes the annual membership fee out. And then if you want to increase it by say a pound or 50p, you can adjust it before the payment's collected and you can send your members an email. So again, we're moving to thinking about your club, running it like the TV license, like an electricity bill, like a really standard normal billing system. And finally, it's transparency. And this is often not really talked about because it can be a bit uncomfortable, but in some clubs you have people collecting a huge amount of money. You know, we have clubs that will do 100, 200,000 pounds in membership fees. It's a lot of money. Imagine that as checks and cash and, and bits of money here or there, or Bob gave you 30 quid at you know, 2 a.m. in the morning at the nightclub and that's his membership fee. You know, it, it, it's difficult. If it's online and it's all uh, electric, we, we track and record everything. And so it's completely transparent. You can export an Excel file showing you everything that was collected. It'll show you when it was collected, um, what card they used, it'll show their email address, it'll show you all the data that you collected at the time, but it'll also show you if it failed uh, and it'll give you a reason for it failing as well. So you have transparency. Therefore, volunteers, they're not in this uncomfortable position where they've got a huge amount of cash to handle, or they've got other volunteers looking at volunteers saying, crikey, that's a, you know, a huge amount of responsibility. Nobody wants that. When it's all transparent online, it's great. Everyone can see everything. You can export information and you can say, these are the facts uh, of what's going on. So those are my six. There's more, there's 15 more. Where was it? Let's find that page. It was in the clubhouse. Here it is, 15 reasons. Check this out. Really interesting, really worth the reading. Um, so these are two, two uh, images we use on the Y online payment. It's all about getting your revenue curve pointing upwards. And we do that by finding that Mark Bailey's who don't pay. I can still think of now. I had a guy that I used to play uh, with called Ricky. He would arrive at a match uh, in September. You know, season started. He would have a bookies tote receipt in one hand with 30 quid's worth of betting. He'd have, a you know, fags and a can of Red Bull and then he'd ask him for his membership fee and he wouldn't have any money and he was a nightmare. That's Ricky right there. We can chase Ricky now with emails, we can give him a nudge, we can give him a prompt Monday morning when he's at the office, oi Ricky, here's your email, follow this link and pay online and you'll make sure you're collecting all your money from everyone. So I can't get that message over too strong enough. You move it online, whether it's with Pitch here or with someone else, you will, you will collect more money. So the why no is wrong. There's always somebody, isn't there, uh, at the club, uh, the committee. Again, I see this guy. I know him. I won't name him, uh, but I, I can see him right now that I sit on the committee with. Um, they say no, and these are the most common reasons. First of all, they will say our older members won't do it. They don't like it. They like cash. That's wrong because your older members, they also like going on holiday. They like going on Ryanair and Jet to an EasyJet, and they don't pay Ryanair in cash. They, uh, they're, they're like going to um, 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 the theatre and, and uh, all those kind of things. And they've got iPads uh, and they've even got Netflix. And, and the older folk at home, swipping left and right on those iPads are more technical than the younger ones. And they are used to paying online. They get it, it's easy. Don't give the excuse that all the members won't collect. If you do have an older member, let's say you have five guys, really super old, you can still collect their money as cash. And you can add it to the pitch hero system as a manual payment. So you can say, right, these five guys, the old boys, they paid in check, they paid in cash, we bank them. It's on the system because I added it manually. And the other 995 members of our club have all paid online. So that deals with that one. The second one is people say it's too expensive. Well, it's a couple of percent. So it's two, three percent, depending on what package you're on. So let's say you would normally collect 50,000 pounds uh from your membership but by moving online you increase it let's say you increase it to seventy thousand pounds let's say you increase it to sixty thousand pounds so a ten thousand pound increase it might have only cost you 500 pounds in transaction charges to get that extra ten thousand so are you going to turn down 10 grand extra because of 500 pounds absolutely not it's absolutely well worth it and when you think of the expense, also think of the admins, think of the people that have to cash, go to the bank, collect the checks, collect the cash. It's a nightmare. Think of their time. Think about if you put, you know, an hourly rate on your volunteers. Think how expensive it is doing it by paper and check. So it certainly isn't too expensive. The third one is I don't trust banks. 
um, or I don't trust pitch here or I don't trust IT or um, you know I don't trust my iPad or my iPhone we get that a bit as well um, pitch here doesn't store any credit cards we use um, approved government approved bank of england approved payment processing companies we use a company called stripe and we use a company called go cardless and you can read all about them in your control panel and you can link to their websites and they collect all the financial data and they tell your bank to move the money from your account to your club account and it sits with them and they have military grade encryption they're huge uh, billion dollar companies and very secure and you can read all about them on your website so it's not about pitch hero storing your credit card details and in your control panel no one at your club will see credit card details either i think you might see the last four digits perhaps on a stripe account or a go cardless account but you can't see everyone's credit or bank details it's all protected and secure and then finally the fourth one is bob um, we always call them bob um, uh, Bob has a system, he's been doing it for years, uh, and we just let Bob get on with it. Just because you have a volunteer who's been around for decades and they have a system, that's not a great reason not to change. Um, and also, what happens if Bob can't do it anymore? You know, you want a system that you can give to a new volunteer that's easy to use, that's modern, that's simple, that somebody can 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 harness and, and, and do it. So, really, if you have a Bob, have a sit down with Bob and really talk to Bob. And it may be that Bob doesn't like IT and you have to find a new job for Bob or a new role for Bob. But just because you know somebody is doing it this way doesn't mean that it's right to leave it there. It's about what's the best interest for the club. And most importantly, it's about what's in the best interest of your members. Because I promise you, when mums and dads walk through the door, they don't know where their checkbook is. They're probably not carrying cash. And there is no way that an 18-year-old or a 21-year-old carries cash these days anyway. It's all on their phone. They want to be able to hand out their phone and just pay or move the money from their bank account with their mobile app. And those, those are the people that are playing, right? So you've got to build systems that work well for your members that are actually playing, okay? So that's the nose. I think I covered that pretty well. Um, so we're going to now have a demo. We're going to look at connecting your club bank accounts, uh, creating products, uploading membership, sending a payment prompt, um, and then watch the money come pouring in. Um, okay, so what I'm also going to do to kick us off is I'm going to show you a couple of websites which I think are worth a watch. So um, this is Tainton Rugby Club based down in London. And we're also going to have a look at Reading Hockey Club, which is based, or oh, not far from London, I guess, west of London. Both have blue websites. Don't think anything of that. We do lots of different colours. They just happen to be blue. Uh, you go to their websites. Uh, Tainter are on the ultimate pa package. Reading are also on the ultimate package. And the reason they're on the ultimate package is because, you know, these guys will be doing 100,000 plus on membership. And so they want the lowest possible transaction fee and you get the lowest transaction fee on the ultimate package. So that's why they've upgraded. If you're not sure, you should definitely be on the Elite. Uh, you shouldn't be on Free. Free is an expensive transaction. So make sure you're on the Elite. Uh, and I think off the top of my head, if you're doing more than 40 to 50,000 pounds in transactions per year, then you need to be considering the ultimate package. If you're under 40 or 50,000 pounds, then stick with the Elite package. That's the best transaction rate for you guys. So if you come to this website, have a note of the them. you can google reading hobby club you can google tennington you click on their shop and you can see straight away they're selling lots of things online so they've got membership fees they've got tickets to monday night football and they've got team wear they've got joggers uh, trackies caps uh, and of course uh the face mask like everyone has these they even want water bottles so they're selling all, all these things through one online payment system provided by pitch hero um, if I go to the home page, you can also see here, you're all up to date with your payments. And this is because me, Mark, I follow Reading as a supporter. I'm a supporter of their club. And they can assign a payment to me. So if I was a player, for example, playing in their adult team, let's say our first team, obviously regular, uh, um, then they might say, Mark, you need to pay your senior membership. And they've assigned that payment to me. That would be listed here in this box. And when they assign it, they would also send me an automatic email. And that email would take me to this page. It would say, Mark, your senior membership is due. I'd click that, I'd go through and pay. And I would pay just like buying a book on Amazon. So here you can have a look at all the different types of options they have. Senior membership, let's click on that and have a bit of a look on that. You've got senior league cut membership, title. 
they've got a bit of information about it and then they allow people to pay annually 250 pounds or you can pay in four installments of 62 pounds 50. hockey is an expensive game folks so don't read too much into the 250 but what's important here is they're saying you know asking a member for 250 quid in one go is pretty bad that's a lot of it's a big chunk of money so why don't we make it easier for them why don't we split into four installments select the dates it could be the first four months of the season it could be what every other month so it be two months um it might be every three months over the year i'm not sure how they've done it but these are the options they offer their members really good think of this particularly with junior membership you know parents they might have multiple kids and if you're suddenly saying the kid needs to pay up front for hundreds of pounds you know, that mum has to double that for both triple that if she's got three kids so splitting payments is a really good initiative let's have a couple more reading university membership not sure what that is it's a pound interesting combined membership so this is oh for multiple i was hoping that might be a family membership they don't have a family membership here so we'll move on but they've also got things like team wear so let's look at what they got here kids trackies nine options so different colors and different sizes so seven to eight black 12 to 13 gray buy you can set all this up and add nice photos in the system we have a look at teddington uh they've got their shop here it is, they've created nice images under sevens and elevens under Colts. So this is the Colt membership, 40 pounds. Tag the player during purchase, that's interesting. So what that is is a message there. So if you're a parent buying this product, as you go through, you can select your child, or if the child isn't in the system, you can add your child to the system. And that means when the club see it coming through, they can say, uh, Bob Smith has paid Colts membership for James Smith. And that all feeds through the system and you create two members with two membership records so you can see how they set it up they've also got team wear as well look at this hoodies blooming masks as well lots of nice uh, woolly hats they've got merchandise they've got fundraising this is great so you can also do a fundraising initiative and they've got tours check this out so uh minis tours 2022 uh, this product covers two members, so that's two people going on tour for £290. So by the time you, you finish that payment, you could have added two members to that. So lots of ways to set this up. So let's dig right in. I'm going to take us to a control panel now. So this is the Pichira Cricket Club. Uh, what else have we got here? Pichira Teams. So these are just two clubs, um, demo clubs if you want. Um, that we at Pitch Era set up in the background. Just waiting for that page to refresh. There we go. Ignore all these red uh, buttons. These are because I had to reset everything this morning before I started this. Uh, and this is one that's up to date. So this is a control panel, which you guys should be familiar with. You're all getting the B volunteer happy buttons now, taking to the volunteer page. You'll see the buttons to collect match fees, GPS, etc. So if we jump in and look at shop and payments, I'm actually going to do it from this one because this has been reset. So let's do shop and payments. You hit the dashboard and it comes up with this page. This is the getting started page. You've got introduction, click on that, quick guide, um, and then you click get started. So the first thing you need to do is to set up your bank account. So for this, you just need your club account number and your sort code. And you can create it with Go Cardless. That's a direct debit processing uh, house. So things like membership is ideal for GoCardless, uh, weekly recurring, monthly recurring, annual recurring. That's good for GoCardless. And then you also have Stripe, which is credit cards. So merchandise, one-off payments. Um, we recommend the club set up both. So you have both uh, options. You can decide what payment partner to use for which product. So you might use Stripe for your merchandise. You might use GoCarless for your membership. You might use Stripe for match fees. You might use GoCarless for match fees. It's up to you. Um, it's free to set up. You have to perhaps sometimes uh, send them some information about your club. If you've got some accounts, you may have to send them that. If you start processing large volumes of money, they may reach out to you and ask you just to prove some more of your ID. I'm afraid this is all standard stuff when it comes to banking these days. So if you're a club and you suddenly sign up and you, you, know, you start processing 10, 20, 30,000, you may get a message from Stripe saying, hello, can you just do some more identity checks for us? And that may mean sending them your club bank, uh, your club annual accounts 
uh, or your governance, your constitution, or a letter from the chairman, that sort of stuff. So these two, uh, that's the first thing you do to set it up. So I'm going to jump now back into this uh, control panel because I'm already set up with my payment partners on here. So once you're set up, you get a control panel that looks like this. You get a graph of money coming in, which gets quite addictive as tens of thousands of pounds start rolling in. You can see it daily, weekly, monthly, last 30 days. You can track special time periods and you can see what was tracked, who paid what. So we've worked really hard on the reporting because we understand once you've got the money, you'll be able to dig into it and find out what the heck's going on. You've also got your assignments. So what do you mean by assignments? So this is where you assign a payment to a member. So Reading there, they had senior membership. So they would go through, they'd create the payment product and then they would assign that to all of their adult players and send them an email. And then as they open the inbox, more and more pay. This is a dummy site. So we have dummy date, rows of data in here. And then we have 12 people paid. For most clubs, this would be like 365 paid and 12 people not paid. And then you click on that button and you find Ricky and you go, I knew it, I knew it'd be Ricky. And you send an email, you might send Ricky two emails, but when Ricky gets to work the next day, he'll make the payment online. Uh, we have products down here. We call all payment products, products. I know it was never an easy word to pick out, but a product could be a membership, a fundraising, a tour. Let's have a look at products. So across the top here, you have membership, teamwork, we merge, like I say, a mug, a mug is a product. Membership, annual membership is a product. Tickets, that could be a season ticket. That could be a ticket to a special event, like Christmas ball or a summer ball or end of year dinner. Uh, lots of clubs do end of year dinners through this. Fundraising, sponsorship tour or other. If you can't see it, you just add other. All your products are listed down here so you can see them all in real time. You can see who's paid and who hasn't paid. Again, this is just dummy data. Normally, everyone's in green and there's a few people in red. That's how you increase your revenue. So let's do a quick add a new product. So you can see we worked really hard to make this area nice and user friendly. Let's create, for example, a membership product at the start of the season. We've got a nice little video you can watch. We're not going to do that now. Let's hit next. So you can create different types of membership products. So you could create a product that has lots of variations senior, junior, other, or it could be a, just a one-off membership product. So let's just hit that and say, yeah, it's a one-off membership. You can then also offer your clubs, and we recommend this. You offer them annual, and you also offer them monthly as well. Really recommended. Um, so they have the option of paying, let's say, £100 now, or let's say 120 keep it nice and simple, the maths, or they could pay £10 a month. We really recommend you keep it flexible for your members. Or you could just say, actually, no, it's £120 up front. Is it for an individual or for his group and family? So this is where some clubs say, well, if you're a family, two parents, two kids, or two parents, three kids will offer you a special rate. Or it could just be an individual, which is the player. You then get one-off payment. They pay the £120. You don't collect anything again. Uh, they pay the £120, but they do it over 12 months. So it's £10 a month and then it stops or it's the subscription. And we recommend all clubs start thinking about this. Think Netflix, think your gym membership. You just pay £12, £20 forever and ever until that member stops. Even in the summer months or the winter in cricket when you're not playing, keep that cash flow coming in, keep your members coming in. And I know there's some people saying, but we need a load of money up front to book pictures or we need a load of money up front to invest in various things. We get that. Um, so there will be some transitional period, but really subscriptions uh, and long-term subscriptions are the way to go. So let's say we're going to do installments. Let's say we're going to do it monthly and the total cost is £120. Uh, let's say we're going to do it over 12 months, so it's £10. You can also add an initial payment. So let's say you've got a joining fee. That could be £20 or £30. You can do that as well. So you tick that box. You could say first payment is at least £30 or £40. And then you hit next. And then you can decide when it's collected. And this is quite an important one. We've got a lot of feedback about this. Um, uh, clubs like, for some reason, to know when the money is coming in. So you can specify a date. Or it could just be recurring on the day that they make the first payment. So if you have a member that, that always 
uh, that made a payment on the 12th, all of their payments will be collected on the 12th. However, the club can also specify a date. So you can say, okay, we want on the 2nd uh, of September uh, 2021, uh, and away you go. And then you get your choice, direct debit or Stripe. Uh, let's say direct debit, name the product, adult membership. You can add some info. This is some info. So you can say this is for all adult members playing at the club during the following season. And then you hit next. You can upload an image, and we recommend this. Good images always sell more, right? We'll skip it for now. And then you can start um, who is this product available for? So all members or just the people you assign it to. So you could just say we only want certain people to see this, or you could say no, we want all members able to purchase it. So away you go. You then get a final review. You can edit this at any stage and then click create my product. Folks, we just created a product. How fast was that? Three, three minutes, four minutes. It's done. It's live. It's online. You can now start assigning your members. So check this out. You can filter by team. So I'm going to go men's first team and second team, ladies first team. That's all my senior adult people. Here they all are. There's uh, 127 of them. I'm going to select them all, Bosch, and I'm going to create 127 assignments. Bang, there we go, away. Now, what you can do is you can email all of those members, as you can see down here. They'll get an email saying, Bob, uh, Pitchier Creek Club wants you to pay £120. As they start filling out this list here, they all start lighting up in green. What we see time and time again is that as soon as clubs send that message, Within hours, it's all paid. It's not days, it's not weeks, it's within hours. Members like to see the inbox, the email coming into the inbox. They want to play. Uh, they, they're used to paying for things online. They click the link in their, in their inbox and they just pay. So you could send this email tonight and by tomorrow morning, you could have the majority of your membership paid. That's how simple and effective it is to you. So I, I hope that makes sense. Um, and, and if there's anything else you want me to go through, hit it into that question section just down there. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is once you create your product, you then need to go to what we call the transactions page. This is your reporting page. And again, really important. First thing, you can export all of the payments uh, anytime. Um, so you can export them to Excel. So let's say you have an accountant and you need to send them that, or you have a treasurer who likes dicing stuff up in Excel so that you can get reports. You can always export this data. You can then put it into a system like Xero. You know, you can upload it to Xero or Sage or one of the other accounting systems as well. You can also print results. So let's say you've got a committee meeting and you want to print up all your adult members or your junior members. What you could also do is you could do filters. This is a good filter. Filter by status, filter by not paid. Where are they? Failed, paid, cancelled, charged back, pending, refunded. Uh, partial payment, so let's say pending, uh, that means it's in the banking system, or actually let's say failed, so we tried to collect the money, they tried to pay, but it didn't go through, so you can probably filter. If there was somebody where they had a failed payment, that would show here, you could print that off, you could take it into the club and say, right, these four people, they still haven't paid. This bit is really important because it lets you identify the non-payers. So that's membership. Uh, what else I want to talk to you about is other things you can set up online payments for. So let's have a look at some other products. So team wear, training shirt, uh, super simple. If we're going to edit product, you can add an image. You can add different sizes of the training shirt. Um, you can say is it two payments, one payment. You can even add different sizes. Check this out here. You can add a different amount for different sizes. So if you have a junior shirt, it might be 10 pounds. If you get an adult shirt, it might be 20 pounds. Um, so we try and add as much functionality in here as possible. Uh, last one to bring you is also match fees. So match fees is slightly different, and this works mostly through our mobile apps. You set up a product, and what you're seeing here are products. So here is a senior match fees. That's a product under 70s match fees. You might have junior match fees. You might have senior match fees. You might have Saturday match fees, whatever products you need. And the product is the same amount. So senior match fees might be five pounds or it might be seven pounds. 
Um, you create the product, and then in the mobile apps, when you're picking the team and selecting the team, you can assign the product to the player, and you can send them it through the mobile app. So their mobile app will ping it, uh, and the player can pay instantly through their phone, and that's automatically updated on the system as well. So membership fees, which are like the big bulky annual hundred pounds, are different to the five pounds, the seven pounds, the eight pounds. Um, we're going to publish actually this week all our research on on on, on match fees. Hockey is the most expensive. I think hockey is like six pounds eight to the average match fee in hockey, uh, and football is the second most expensive. And then rugby is one of the cheapest, at something like uh, five pounds, close to five pounds as well. So match fees can also be collected using exactly the same system, but in a slightly different way. It uses the mobile apps, and these are small micro payments, whereas perhaps in your shopping payments, it's more macro stuff. It's the big heavy lifting stuff, the membership fees, the merchandise, the tickets, and the fundraising. Okay, so um, I hope that wasn't too fast. I sincerely apologize if it was. Um, in terms of getting started, like I said at the start, you cannot break Pitch Hero. So jump in and have a go. Everything you create, you know, if you want to create a demo product, see how it looks, you can delete that product afterwards, no problem. Um, do you just need your club bank accounts? Do you just need to join Stripe and go cardless, and they might take five or 10 minutes each. But once you've done that, you're set up and away. And then you can upload your membership if you haven't already. You can email them out those payment prompts. And you can start collecting revenue from your club in a really efficient, modern way that reduces admin for the volunteer and boosts your overall club revenue. If there's anything tonight that uh, you want to check, please book a demo. We've got loads of staff, loads of them, too many of them, all sat around watching the Olympics, or they were, uh, when they should be working hard. Um, go to the clubhouse, click book a demo. I'll do that again for you. So if you don't pitch hero, Go more, go book a demo, um, book a time slot, and they'll be there and they'll ask you lots of questions. Uh, sorry, you could, they'll answer all of your questions. Um, good question here. Is it possible to have a separate payment provider for different products? Yes, it is. Uh, you can assign different payment providers on different products. You can also, I'm not sure if I made this clear, you can add different club bank accounts, so we're very aware that some clubs, for example, have a junior bank account, a senior bank account, they might even have a ladies bank account, they may even have a tour money bank account as well. So if you want to add different accounts to your control panel, you can also do that. I hope that answers that question. Can you add manual payments with match fees? Good question, I'm not sure about that actually. Uh, I'll find out for you, Tim, uh, and I'll send you a message or get one of our account support people to come back to you tomorrow with that one. Yeah, you can add a different account to your fundraising. So, you know, if you're collecting money online, uh, let me try and think of someone who's collecting money online. So Richmond Cricket Club, they had a fundraising page, uh, I believe. Uh, let's click on that. Uh, one of the girls' shops, this is Richmond Creek Club, yeah, fundraising. So, this is their donations page, it looks like this. Donate one pound, hundred fifty pounds, hundred pounds, fifty pounds. So, fundraising can all be done as a separate bank account in a separate way. Can you remove a payment option if it has already been purchased? Not sure what you mean, Penny. Uh, add a bit more to your question, I'll try and answer that now. And a couple of thanks and a couple of thanks. So yeah, fire that in, Penny, and I'll try answer that. Yes, this webinar is recorded. I hope. Yes, it is. I press the record button. Phew, I panicked then. So it is recorded, Chris. Uh, and you can send a link. It'll be on our go to webinar page uh, in an hour of finishing, I think. And you can um, uh, send it out to your members. I also recommend you send your members links to the clubhouse. And I also recommend that you perhaps organize a meeting with your members where we can all join a video uh, webcast uh, as well, and we can give you a live demo. I also recommend, Chris, be bold and brave and set up online payments regardless, and then show them it. So set it up on your website. You could, you could do like a, this is Chris's membership test uh, product for one pound. 
uh, and then you can take your, your laptop to the clubhouse committee meeting and you can show them how simple it is. Um, you know, you put there banging your head against a wall. I know I, we get that. Um, um, uh, it, it's a big, the, the biggest challenge for Pitch Hero, you know, is that our competitors or anything like that. It's uh, persuading volunteers to really embrace modern technology. And it's really frustrating that governing bodies haven't done this. Only now are governing bodies really thinking about technology and their technology isn't good enough. Uh, you know, we hear nightmare stories about the RFU GMS, uh, the football FA system, ECB play cricket, um, because those systems are designed for the governing body rather than designed for the volunteers and the clubs. Just think if, if grassroots governing bodies had really engaged online registration, they could get 30% extra money into grassroots sport by not giving any money. They could just get the clubs to collect the money they're owed. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be amazing? So Penny, our membership is an annual fee, which has to be paid before the season ends. Got it, March. If we offer six installments, we want to remove the option when there aren't enough months left to pay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, uh, Penny. That makes total sense. So if you have, let's say, members uh, paying those six installments, but you want to stop other members from doing that, you can take it offline. So nobody, nobody else can join it. Nobody else can start uh, buying it. But the people that are buying it can continue to pay it until it ends. So, so that's no problem at all. Um, oh, question here from Chris. Do you have any integration with RFU GMS? Um, oh, how do I answer this? Uh, uh, so I'm one of the founders here at Pitch Hero. We had our first meeting with the RFU 14 years ago, about six months after we started. We have meetings with them perhaps twice a year. Um, 65, 70% of English rugby use our system. And at the moment we have no plans. Um, RFU GMS is a is a confusing thing. The GMS system and the RFU are actually two very separate things. The RFU have just given the company that run GMS um, almost like a free license to charge clubs to process their payments. Um, so at the moment, there, there's no signs. We'd love to. We've offered it multiple times. We've written endless documents and attended meetings on how we could help the RFU and integrate our data and make the whole thing more e easier for volunteers. But unfortunately, we've got nowhere. But we will keep on trying. Uh, and that's it, folks. I think that's everything. I'm just looking for a few more. Have I missed any? I think that's everything. Uh, Tim, I'm due to come back to you, which I will do. Uh, with your question uh, but that's it folks 40 minutes we started at 7 30 it's now 8 20. Um, um, I'll, I'll head off this evening um, I hope you enjoyed that if you've got any questions find them over support at pitchio.com or book a demo call have a great evening jump in embrace online payments you'll never look back uh, have a great season have a great great season I look forward to speaking to you soon thanks a lot